Hi, my name is Mikkel Fremling and I'm a postdoc at uh, Utrecht University and I will be talking today about uh, math links and math links extras, uh, the power of Julia and Mathematica combined. Uh, and these two packages are interoperability packages that allow Ma Julia to communicate with the Mathematica server. And I will show how this is done in, uh, in the simplest settings, but also how you can use the two programs together to uh, obtain enhanced uh, efficiency. Further, since this is about Mathematica, I'm going to assume that viewers here are familiar with Mathematica syntax. And I think it's fair, um, fair to say that there will be some math up ahead, but I guess that's actually to be expected. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look at how Mathlink is implemented. We can load the package with the using command like any other package. Mathlink needs Mathematica of all from engine to function properly. The first uh, stru structure that's defined is the W symbol. This is essentially just a structure whose name is a string and it represents a mathematical object. We can construct these with the double quotations syntax and then the, the string could be just a, a letter or a longer variable and it doesn't have to be only letters. The second expression is the W expression which has a head that's just a W symbol and a string of arguments that could be anything like numbers or W symbols or W expressions such that this thing can be nested very deeply. We compute them and we construct them using the single quotation marks. So if we do W A plus B, we get the plus head and then the arguments are A and B in a tuple. We can construct more complicated objects like B times the cosine of W. Where here we note that W uses square brackets, so we're using Mathematica syntax. We can construct other type of Mathematica objects like the integrand, integration over X, for instance. And the integration over x, in this case, isn't performed. Uh, so first, MathLinks just creates the object. And the, uh, the w integrate x list object can then be put back into Julia uh, as a self-reproducing expression. So this is a nice way to learn MathLinks math syntax. You can take a Mathematica expression and you can convert it to the corresponding MathLinks object. However, if you want this to be evaluated, uh, there's a special command called wEval. Uh, and this is the command that takes your MathLink expression, sends it to Mathematica, and retrieves the result. In this case, uh, one half. Uh, MathLink Extras adds uh, a few extra operators on top of this. For instance, the plus, minus, multiplication, division, and, and power um, functions, such that I can construct wA plus wB as a proper arithmetic expression, uh, or I can combine the two and I can do w sine uh, and then as a function argument I have w pi plus b. Note again that this is not yet evaluated, uh, so if we apply w evaluate on it, we get back minus sine of b, because we know that the sine plus of an argument plus pi is actually negative of sine. Uh, there is one way to get uh, automatic evaluation uh, of the overloaded operators. Uh, so note here that WA plus WA really gives back plus AA. Uh, but if we set the greedy evaluator to true, then WA plus WA gets sent to Mathematica and retrieved, and we get two times WA. Uh, MathLinks Extras also allows uh, uh, support for complex numbers uh, and rationals. Further, uh, MathLinks and MathLinks Extras works really nicely with the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, for instance, if I do w a plus b squared, this is actually techified, te uh, so you get really pretty output, and it automatically evaluates before sending it to, to tech which means that if you do the exponential of 2a of a plus a, you actually get e to the 2a. Further, uh, even Mathematica graphs can be extracted. So if we do 
a plot of some function uh, this gets sent to Mathematica and back and we get uh, the corresponding PNG image in Jupyter. Then now I'll show you how Julia can send expressions to Mathematica and get them back. But now I'll show you how Julia and Mathematica can really work together for improved performance. And a sim simple example here is a Gaussian integral. So here I have an exponential of a second order polynomial in x times a polynomial in, in x. And if I plug this in and I ask Mathematica to evaluate it, uh, it will take a little while. It actually has to do go through a few transformations, do a few checks and balances, and eventually, after quite a long time, 12 seconds, I get my result, which is a conditional expression because a has to be, uh, the real part of a has to be positive. We, if we know that we're working with a Gaussian exp expression, we can actually make this much, much faster, and this is what I will show you next. To speed up the calculation of the integral, we will use that we know what to do, and we will allow Julia to perform these steps. Uh, roughly speaking, what we do is the following. We first take out the exponential of c, because it's a constant anyway. Then we complete the square over x, so we have one term with x and one term with b. We can pull out the extra term because it's just a constant. And then in the last step, we shift x such that we have a pure Gaussian centered over zero, and now we have a shifted polynomial. The shifted polynomial can in turn be expanded in, in, in monomials, and then we can integrate term by term uh, because we know the results of each of these integrations. This is how it would work in practice. We would load math links and we would set the grid evaluator to true so that the math link expressions are automatically evaluated. We would then define a structure which keeps track of the prefactor and the Gaussian. This allows Julia to keep this, to treat this as one object instead of having the two variables A and B floating around separately. We could in principle implement um, algebra properties of this structure, although we won't need it uh, today. Then we can write an integration function. The integration function would take the Gaussian polynomial structure and the integration variable. Then we would extract the ABC components. We would use the ga we would extract the ga extract uh, the polynomial in the in the Gaussian piece, and uh, from there we would separate out A, B, and C. We would use that we know that this is. Um, that there's a shift in the integration due to the completion of the square. We can implement this using the w replace function, which basically re implements the mathematical replacement function. Then, once we've shifted the polynomial piece, we can extract the coefficients of that polynomial, and we can integrate term by term because we know what these integrals are. At the end, we add up the different terms and we put back the exponential uh, that we had in the beginning, that we pulled out of the integral. Um, we can evaluate, we can now run this uh, in the terminal. We create our Gaussian. We feed it into W integrate, integrate over X, and we print the result, which is also just uh, a pretty print uh, overloading. If we run this, we get the following output. Note that this takes about three milliseconds, including printing, um, which is way faster than the 12 seconds that Mathematica needed to do the same thing. The printing, the, the actual result isn't exactly, it's, it's, it's the same, but it doesn't look as nice, but we can do uh, simplify on the result, on the expression to clean it up and get exactly uh, the, the result we want. And we got it a lot faster than if we just allowed Mathematica to do it themselves. This is the end of the presentation. I've shown you how we can use Mathematica, how Julia can talk to Mathematica, and I've shown you a concrete example where using our own knowledge about the math allows us to uh, work a lot faster, allows Julia and Mathematica to work a lot faster than M Mathematica alone is able to. This was all for this presentation. I hope that this inspired you to use MathLink and MathLink's extras in the future. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Now, thank you and have a good day.